What's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Washington State's Mortiferum Altar of Decay. It's one of those demos. It's just so fucking good. Every track on here, so gnarly. I know a lot of people... Honestly, we're like, oh, well, I like the demo a lot more than Disgorge from Psychotic Depths, and I understand, but at the same time, I kind of don't, like, if you like Death Doom Metal, like, you're gonna probably 97% love Disgorge from Psychotic Depths, but Alter of Decay is doomy, but this is just some fucking nasty, heavy-as-fuck death metal. And Mortiferum's one of the best, in my opinion, when it comes to modern American death metal. But, there's death metal scenes all over the country that have these amazing bands that sometimes don't get heard out of their own country, but thanks to the technology of websites like Bandcamp, YouTube, etc. You get to hear these bands that otherwise would forever remain buried. But there's certain labels that really actually care about underground extreme fucking music. And one of those labels, I always fuck their name up and I apologize, but Steiglin Black Hand, I feel at the moment, not counting like head split records and shit, I feel like they are really on top of shit when it comes to just gnarly bands all over the world. And considering this is their 29th release, it's an amazing start. I mean, they don't have a single mediocre release in their discography. And this is just another straight up banger. Hailing from Romania, this is a death metal duo of just complete vomit inducing awesomeness. And that is Larva, and this is the four track promo tape 2020. Where to even fucking begin with this? Like, it's only four tracks, but the one's an outro, but it doesn't matter because it's just so fucking awesome and like I know I say that shit a lot and especially recently because I've been covering awesome demos and it's been like non-stop especially from Steiglin Black Hand for example the Gravesend demo has been blowing the fuck up and rightfully so like Preparations for Human Disposal is one of the best demos of 2020. And this is the 27th release from Steiglin Black Hand. So, like, they're just killing it right now, in my opinion. And the Larva promo tape is just... It's up there with, like, the Mortiferum promo, the Mephetic Corpse demo, you know, the fucking... Fetid demo, Cerebral Rot demo, it's one of those, like, like, as much as I love the new Phantasmagore, like, again, this is right next to it when it comes to everything I want to hear out of a death metal demo. And I know I've said it time and time again, but I fucking mean it. And everything about this cassette is everything I personally want 
out of a death metal band's demo tape. Or promo tape, whatever you want to call it. This right here is so fucking good. And considering it's a duo, it's even sicker, I think. Like, and it's pretty DIY, like, the band members did the artwork and everything. I think this is from a film, but I, I can't put my finger on what film it's from. Like, I know for a fact I've seen this in, like, a movie. And I'm pretty sure it's not Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I kept thinking it's that one scene where, uh... They get thrown into the well of souls, and there's like that snake coming out of the eyeball. But I think that's like a skeleton. But like I don't know. It's just real. Well, that's some kind of calcified flesh. But just an awesome cover that pretty much sums up the filth within. Seriously, like, Larva hailing from Romania. Like, Romania does have a pretty strong death metal scene. And I've just, you know, I've never heard something this sick come out of Romania. And they do have some sick bands, but, like, this is just some grade A top shelf filth. And when I say filth, I mean... This is some dirty, disgusting, awesome fucking death metal. And you have Lasilia Seratia on vocals and guitar. I'm sorry if I mess up anybody's name, but we have disgusting Dennis on bass and drums. All music and lyrics by Lasilia. Recorded by Disgusting Dennis, February 2020. Mixed and mastered by Gabriel the Dr. Gersheru. And then cover art by Disgusting Dennis and logo by Lasilia. So like I said, DIY as fuck. And I know that like... Before this was available on Stygl and Black Hand, people were like, dude, have you heard the Larva promo? Like, it's up on eBay, and I don't really go on eBay looking to buy music, honestly. So I had no idea. And then all of a sudden, guess what pops up on the SBH band camp? So I checked it out, and holy fuck, this is awesome it, it, it's just legitimately such a good release that I, I'm just fuck yes like it's one of those that just kicks fucking ass even though it's really short you're in you're out and you get your death metal fix I guess it's like Doing some, like, I, I I don't know, cocaine maybe? Like, it makes you fucking just hyped and stoked. And it may induce vomiting. Just a warning. It, it's some nasty, nasty death metal. Like, there's parts on here where vocally, it legit sounds like fucking Vastum. But, like, drenched in like some kill town death metal if you understand what i'm saying then you're probably like no fucking way but fucking way this is so good and we start things off with larva into doomed to exist then lust for the dead and then you have the outro track the outro track I fucking love it. I really do. It, it's fucking cool. It's not your usual outro. There's a lot going on, and it's very unsettling, and that just makes this demo, promo, sorry, this makes the promo tape even sicker sounding, in my opinion. Because there's just, like, 
it's so much going on in the outro track that's unsettling. Like, like you'll hear like certain like it sounds like you know gargling, and there's just these noises, and it's it's fucking awesome, and it completely matches the aesthetic that Larva bring to this promo tape. And it's, it really is fucking something that, if you're a fan of death metal, period, chances are th this is probably going to be one of your favorite releases of 2020. Especially if you like your death metal fucking nasty, filthy, heavy, and just chock full of riffs and a vocal delivery that is not your typical vocal delivery. It's something that, like, it's really special, and it's something that puts a smile on my fucking face. But when I first threw this on, and, like, I heard the sample, I was like, okay, you know, it's kind of... It's nothing out of the ordinary to use a sample. That's the only thing about this release that is ordinary, is just using, like, a horror movie sample. And it's sick. Like, I actually enjoy the fact that there's a horror movie sample on here as it adds that kind of, like, maybe this is some lost promo tape from, like, 1993-type vibe. But it's not. It's fucking new. And it's from Romania, and it rules. And SBH was just rad enough to fucking put it out on cassette stateside. Because otherwise, like I said, people were buying this up on eBay. And like, it was selling kind of like crazy in my little circle of underground death metal fiends. Like, everybody I knew seemed to be like, Yo, have you heard the Larva promo? Have you heard the Larva promo? Dude. You know eBay has the Larva promo, right? And, like, as soon as it popped up on SBH, I was like, Fuck, yeah. And I have to thank fucking Jamie, man. Like, hails, dude. Because I, I wouldn't have had this otherwise. Like, seriously, this is just one of those releases that's just fucking the icing on the death metal cake, man. It's the extra maggots on the corpse. It's fucking great. Larva 4-track promo tape 2020. If you like your death metal disgustingly heavy and just drenched in black phlegm, oh my goodness, you need to get into the Larva Four track promo tape 2020. The title at first confused me. I was like, wait, did they record this on a four track? Because it sounds amazing. The production is fucking great, but it's, like I said, it's fucking nasty. It's filthy. It sounds like they fucking shipped Ethan Camp over to Romania to record this, but that's not the case at all. Like, I 100% when I first heard out, when I first heard about this band, I just figured they were from the Pacific Northwest. Then a little bit of research, I found out they were from Romania, and I was like, like, I know about a couple of Romanian death metal bands through a friend of mine, and I had never heard of Larva, so like, once I, you know, checked this out, I instantly was like, okay, I, I fucking need to get this for the channel, because it, it's just awesome, like, I don't know what else to fucking say, plus gargling death metal from fucking Romania. And, you know, they support a bunch of people, I mean, uh, they thank a bunch of people, but they claim that only a couple people really believed in them from the start. And 
they thank us true supporters of death and decay. So, Larva gives you a thank you without even, you know, hearing the band. So, I highly suggest giving this a listen regardless. I'll put a link in the video description. This might be sold out. So, I do apologize if it is sold out, but, you know, I know SBH reissued the Gravesend demo on, like, a black shell and stuff, and then that sold out, like, fucking instantly. So, yeah, if this is sold out, I would hit up Steigl and Black Hand and just find out if there's another pressing going to be made available in the near future, maybe a fucking 7 inch, because this is something that deserves the vinyl treatment. It doesn't need to be on 12 inches of wax, but like, that would be great. But a 7 inch would be amazing, but at the moment, it is called the 4 track promo tape 2020, not the 4 track promo 7 inch. 2020 and they could easily change that but this is something that's obviously meant to be played on cassette and it's fucking great it, it really is if you're a fan of death metal that's just reeking when you play it through your speakers and when i say reeking i mean like it just fucking smells putrid and sonically putrid it's fucking awesome stuff right here just some maggot infested death metal and i also like that they do have like two larva which i don't know if that's to represent the band members but if so again awesome and everything about this release it's just fucking so on the money and sickening I love it, and I know a lot of you maniacs at home, if you don't already have it, you're gonna fucking love it too. And yeah, it's four tracks, self-recorded, hailing from Romania, and it's fucking amazing. I love the tape cosmetics, I love just how simple and classic it looks, and I love how it fucking sounds. Larva. 4-track promo tape 2020 on Steigl and Black Hand. To me, this is almost legitimately a perfect demo tape. And I know that you're probably like, shut the fuck up! Like, can't you be negative for once? Like, that's not what this channel's for. Do you want me to be negative? We can go over some Joe Buck yourself. I'll pass. I'm sorry. Like, if I'm gonna make a video, why would I want to make one about something that I think is kind of terrible? You know what I mean? So, like, if you're a fan of fucking rotten death metal, Larva, 4-track, promo tape 2020. Get into it. Fucking 10 out of 10, A, goddamn... Plus, and I'm not just fucking being, you know, biased or overreacting. I'm being fucking serious. Like, this is my shit. Like, this is the type of death metal I love. And if you're like, well, the pro, if if you're one of the few people that have heard the new project I'm in, a cursed womb, which will have a band camp up soon. Um, I don't know if we're going to finish the demo first, but we do have a single ready. It's ready to go. I've sent it to a few friends, and they're all like, holy shit, like, this is awesome. So I'm very happy with the reception that A Cursed Womb is getting, and I have to thank Patrick Hopkins, man. Again, I, I don't really know if he wants his name out there, but Pat is the brains behind the operation and like I never thought I would be able to record 
vocals ever again. I never thought I would be in a band ever again. And here I am for the first time recording something that I actually am like really, really stoked on. And, you know, Pat and I have similar, like, uh, inspirations when it comes to like death metal and especially death doom because I'm not gonna front like a lot of our songs they they do have a morbid angel type vibe and like some finish like crips type parts and it's fucking cool sounding and I finally get to just do my thing vocally and not have to do these other styles of vocals that I didn't want to do. But back in my old band, it was a different time period. Certain vocal stylings were kind of expected of you. Like, for example, and this is a band that I, I really hated, but then they changed their sound, and they weren't that bad, but everybody else fucking hated it. And that's Job for a Cowboy. Remember they started out as some, like, shitty deathcore band? And then they decided to start taking shit a little more seriously and try to become a real death metal band, and they accomplished that. I remember hearing one of their recordings that straight up sounded like Deicide. But, you know, sideways haircut kids, they didn't want that. Like, they wanted to mosh with their two-inch zippers on their women's jeans. That was just what was popular back then. And, you know, it is what it is. Nowadays, you have purposely cut mullets and $75 viper shades. Which, you know, if you're a big-ass dude, fucking go get some viper shades. But if you're, like, 75 pounds soaking wet, chill <laughs> like for real they're, they're like it, it's something that I, I associate with like fucking venice beach or something like that and i don't know i just feel like you kind of need to be like muscle bound to be wearing some fucking vipers but anyways back on fucking subject larva and this promo tape bring some disgusting death metal from romania to America's doorstep. It's fucking great. You're gonna need some hand sanitizer afterwards. Because it is that filthy. It's fucking... Be it's, it's a beautiful thing. When a, a promo tape, like... Gets you this fucking... Excited. Like, I I'm not, like... Acting at all. Like, I'm legit that hyped on this. Like, it's fucking awesome. It's... Exactly how I felt when I first heard the Mephetic Corpse Immense Thickening Vomit demo. It was like, yo, this is fucking sick. And it is. Just like what we were blasting. Mortiferum, Altar of Decay. If you're wondering why the artwork looks different, this is a tour version from the band. I do have the LP... Uh, pardon, I apologize. So here's the regular original artwork. I'll just show you real quick. I'm already 23 minutes in. But, like, these four tracks, like, they're fucking so good. They never get old. And that's how I feel about this Larva tape. Like, I haven't been able to get this off my fucking cassette deck. And I got a bunch of gnarly stuff that I have to go over, but it's like, dude, listen to some larva, and I just can't help myself. But Mortiferum, like, fuck yeah. These demons know what the fuck they're doing, especially when it comes to death doom metal. And I really love that they got, uh, I, I think it was, um, David from Undergang to do the, uh, Script, yes. Which is fucking badass. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Autopsy. But I think that's the point, honestly. But 
This is the original artwork for Altar of Decay by Mortiferum. And this is the tour edition artwork. Fucking so sick. I love this demo so much. And that's what I mean. Demos sometimes are better than full lengths. But, like, I know a lot of people, like I said, they prefer Altar of Decay to Disgorged from Psychotic Depths. But, like... I fucking love this bad boy. Look at the ramen nightmare. But nah, seriously, this is fucking some of the best Death Doom metal to come out since Spectral Voice eroded Corridors of Unbeing. And it's fucking awesome. The last Evoken record, too, was amazing. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rules. Stay safe out there, people. Seriously. Especially if you live in Texas or Florida. Be careful. Wear a mask and just, you know, chill. You don't need to be going to the bar and being a fucking savage. Just go buy a 40 and just, you know, go home and watch some fucking skate videos or some shit. I don't know, but it's better than, you know, catching the bat virus and ending up on a fucking ventilator or some shit. It's gnarly. It's scary. Just listen to death metal. Okay? And keep watching the channel for some more sickening tunes. As always, again, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. <laughs>